How do I know? I'm just a genius Martian girl, that's all. I'm a massive brain monster train gamer. So, we're doing no champion, no problem, aka Stygian, but better. We got Double Barrel Daedalus, Shadow Arcus, Sapsara, Energy Siphon, Hosting Kin, Urchin Spines. This is the challenge. Remove champion from your starting deck. Extra banner units, triggered abilities, unfriendly units trigger an additional time. Mm. Right as I start the challenge, the frames drop. Here I was thinking that today it was going to be better. Foolish. Foolish. Hmm. I shall wait. I see it's not gonna be good today, though. It was good throughout all of the intro. How sad. It's it's terrible. What the heck? Hmm, now it's better. There we go. It was a big drop, but it didn't start flashing on my end. Which is something, at least. You'll have to refresh to be caught up. I've been, uh, I've been monitoring it all day, trying to uh, figure out what I can do about this. Like, what, what do I have to show my uh, ISP to get them to help me? I'm trying to get as good of information as I can so that maybe they'll do something, but, uh, you know. Anyway. Shall we? So we get one of each banner, which is nice. Yeah, I, I bet you do have these eggs hatched twice, which seems cool. Right, because Hatch is a triggered ability. Once all shallows removed, the unit dies, triggering its Hatch, is what it says. A double Pogworm would be pretty cool. You don't think they Hatch twice? They gotta Hatch twice. You only have two more Stygian cards to stamp, is that true? It's just Icy Cellophite and Glacial Seal. Let's take a look. Log book. Two more? That sounds right. The units. Oh, this is uncommon. This isn't units. <laughs> Works. Yeah, that is correct. More Salitan triggers twice? Yeah. But, like... Triggering things twice seems ridiculous to me. I feel like you can do almost anything on this run and it's better. Like, it's so, it's so crazy. I want to take Kinhost Vessel just to see if that is how it works. And then, Nameless the Siren's a little scary, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Karuska? For me? Send them all the chat logs of people saying frames. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Charter, here's every minute that people have said frames in my Twitch chat. We should be pretty strong. Uh, Icicle Fracture is cool. Yeah, you're going back to Isaac. How you you're enjoying it, I gotta imagine, right? Considering how often you've been playing it. This trial's fine. I am on Super Ultra Dude. Today's episode, bit of a nightmare episode, I will admit. Uh, it was a little rough due to some unfortunate circumstances. Uh, yeah, due, due to some unfortunate circumstances, today's YouTuber, it was a little tough. However, I did, we did get the episode out, and that's all that matters at the end of the day is what I'll keep telling myself. 
Need to kill the 13 times 2 because that enemy is very scary. We'll do 2. It's fine. I was going to bed and I realized that uh <laughs> realized that the file I recorded was corrupted and I went, well, that sucks. Guess I'm doing another one. Rage 2, huh? Okay. I can have one train steward tank all of this if I just throw I just throw an urchin spines down here. And I will double Frozen Lance as well. Replace the deploy the train steward. He will tank the round. I'm going to the disrespect here. My big play is I gotta see if this is gonna hash twice. Oh I didn't kill that man. Yeah, okay. Unlucky. Uh, hello, and then goodbye, RBD. Moment of truth. What? <laughs> no. Oh, we get, we got scammed. There's no way it doesn't work that way. I've actually never been so disappointed in this game in my life. I've, I've never felt so disappointed in my life. Look at this, it says on the card, once all shell is removed, the unit dies, triggering its hatch. Triggered abilities on friendly units trigger an additional time. <sighs> Sad. Last two reaper hit though, not good enough. He is dead to me now. Fog Chrysalis, don't even try it. Give me Hot Shark. Does not eat the Echoes to hatch until the turn is over. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Eelgorgon with double incant. Hmm. I guess we win. During the turn? I mean, it doesn't say during the turn. It says triggered abilities on friendly units trigger an additional time. There is no, like, triggered abilities on friendly units on your turn trigger an additional time. You can't tell me I'm not being scammed here. I'm absolutely being scammed here. I know when I'm being had. <laughs> Does not use the echoes till the end of turn. Yes. Verify when it uses echoes to hatch. And what do you... I don't think I agree with what you're saying. I'm clearly being scammed because it says uh, triggering its hatch ability. But I think what Xanth says is probably correct, where it says the unit- No, because it just says the unit dies triggering its hatch ability. This says triggered abilities trigger twice. Why would this not trigger twice? It says triggers. Read the shell part. Yes, you remove echoes from the floor to remove the shell. Like, it, this should- this should trigger twice. The, this is an effect that was created before this effect was in the game, so there's probably a, uh, a miscommunication between these two, if I were to guess. The first four words, at the end of turn. Yeah. What, what, like, what is, what is your point here, though? I, like, 
the, the, the when the trigger happens shouldn't matter. I just make my hot shark into an armor shark to put in front of Eelgorgon? That doesn't seem great. Think about this. I mean, I guess it's fine. I feel like I just want to put a large stone onto Eelgorgon with a hot shark in front. The hot shark. Wait, there's an endless here. We can just do this, and then we'll just keep our options open. I just I want to put in can armor two on something. But what? That's at the end of turn. Oh no no no! I don't. When it hatches, doesn't matter. I'm I'm complaining that I didn't get a second one from the trigger effect. <sighs> Oh, C1A7, hello. I am not off today. I was off yesterday to do macroeconomics. This is the safe line. I think that I can just put in can armor 2 on this rage siren and that's fine. Hatch is a death, not a trigger. Uh, man, it says right here. It's, it says once all shell is removed, the unit dies triggering its hatch. It's not on death, like the death is not, it, it should spawn too based on the wording. I'm confident. I saw the circle. I'm sad. I'll take the pyre stone housing, it's fine. Weren't you here yesterday? Let me think about it. Like at the very end, I think so. Which would be my guess as to why you may be confused. I'm gonna chill. For the first trigger, the unit is dead, so it can't go again. But like, why? Why can extinguish happen twice then, though? That's the real question. Because by that same logic, then you should never be able to have extinguish happen twice. Because after the first extinguish, the unit's dead. I should play shark. Like I don't I don't disagree that that is probably what's happening, but it's just sad. Got back to playing Monster Train, got two divinity wins yesterday. Hell yeah. Extinguish is a death effect, not a trigger. I mean if you were to read extinguish, it would just say uh triggers on death or something like that. I should do this, probably. Close to a divinity with a legion of wax. Harvest wave. Oh yeah, the harvest wave, dude. Every fun strategy dies to the harvest wave. Just played, you thought you could apply burnout to enemies and you were so confused. You know, there was actually a... There was a... There was a mod that lets you do that. That was pretty interesting. Because I lost double extinguish, then I would get two pupas. I am. Does, it does not hatch twice. No, it does not catch. You were correct. You can reap the Gordian without taking damage. I was wondering the same thing. Uh, we won't be able to find out here. I should have done it, though, to find out. I would just read the card text on Gorgon and tell you, but the game has proven to be unclear. I... I think the best thing to do is just take Offering Token. Take the damage, then it clears. Ah, Sag, I agree. Echo Infusion's good. Offering Monument. Yeah, like, the real, the real takeaway here is that even if the wording seems like it checks out, this game has some uh, things that are unclear. 
Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you're right. This is an infinite. Fuck. so busy I was so busy thinking about other things minus 10 HP each and cancel so barely cancels out but it cancels out though so what you're saying is it cancels out though the the key point of that there is that it cancels out I'm gonna large Sony yield Gorgon we're gonna play... And how much is this? 105? Let me see. Okay. World record multi-strike the monster train CEO visits me personally. 18 times 99. When you say pi when 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 you say times 99, are you telling me that there's a cap at 99 on multi-strike? Is that what you're telling me? Are you telling me there's a cap at 99 on multi-strike? Because that would be really upsetting. Yeah, surely not. I'm a large stony old Gorgon now. So, let's do a little... Dude, we don't even have our champion. So, uh, I have to make a second of this card. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12. These exhaust. These go away. These go away. So 12, 13, 14. Like 14 cards. I need to draw to 10 and I need to dupe. Okay. This should be pretty easy. So, like, man, making that clickbait thing, it's ruined my brain. I, I, just, I, I looked at this and I went, oh yeah, Rail Poggers Hammer, History of the Pog, and Frozen Pog Stalgia. I'm not okay. I'm, I'm not okay. Help me. Pogs in, pog stall, pog. No. Pog furring, pog kin. I got, I got a pog lump. No. Help. Oh, Mr. Pickle. 10,000 points gone? I mean, what else can I say but Pog? Take Locket and then forget. Uh, honestly, a good play. Take Frozen Locket. Forget you took Frozen Locket. Wow, everything's doing, like, everything's doing a lot of damage. That's pretty impressive. Pog Rotovirus is taking hold. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Jack, 10,000 points down the drain as well. But what else can I say but Pog? Picklebot didn't like you wasting your points. Mm. We gotta rise up against Picklebot. It's the only way. Rum Raisin Lover, 10k gone as well. Yeah, you've heard of hype trains. Get ready for wasted 10,000 points trains. Uh, a four on the meow check, but at least you wasted your points. Nalembic Overflow, also down 10k. It's a point massacre. <laughs> Dirk Siftly dropping 10k as well. This this might be a pogtality, guys. I gotta tell you. A cranberry, 10k as well, out of the darkness. Cranberry, are you just gonna refund yourself those 10 points? 
A Xanth? Crusher Xanth? Oh god, oh god. So many points. Man eating donuts. Dirk again. I think Xanth did three. Scumlord did one. Cash? Oh my god. It's just too horrific. I have to avert my eyes. Has a borrow to Oh no, the economy, dude. This is this is going this is going in my macroeconomics report right here. My macroeconomics professor is gonna hear about this. Huh. Bathwater points in shambles. I see it and I'll have a documentary. Is 20 times 17 good? I, you know... Probably not. Realistically. I think I'd kill him here. Close. Very close. Too bad this isn't Talos. We could get that achievement for floating kills. Backwater diamond hand. <laughs> Dude, stay strong. Well, Daedalus died out of sight of Relentless. Dude, the best part is, I don't think any of the, like, chat commands like that pop up on YouTube. So YouTube just heard me freaking out and they went, yo, what the hell is happening to this guy? Nobody tell them. Uh, I just skip everything. Bloodstone totem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do I do? I do. I found you can. Uh, I can change the custom uh, edits you can do to the emotes. Like this, I, I do really like those sunglasses on the thonk though. That is very nice. I'm gonna skip this. Maybe take armor there. This is a run where I just take draw because we're doing an infinite. By the way, in case you were wondering, this is an infinite. Snap pick Brimstone and Isaac without checking and it killed you? Nice. That's the fucking life. That's absolutely the life right there. If there's a spell chain here, I can take it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're about to get somewhere weird. Because I duped this bad boy. First of kin? First of paw? Fog host vessel? Hmm. I need to greed super hard for money. It's because I need to buy a bunch of removals. My pog levels are going crazy. Yeah, please somebody help me. I'm absolutely pogged out of my mind. Okay, we're gonna play Offering Token first. He's Mermaid into Eel for 999. Unfortunately, because it's Rage, it clears. But I probably could, just because we're gonna do it on a single turn. Actually, yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> it is like, she is frontlining right now. But, yeah, at a certain point, I probably will do that. Because it is a one turn thing. That's a good point. Oh, I did not, uh, did not count my energy per correctly. That's not great. Oh well. Average funny guy, hello, yeah. Came to people arrive, stayed for the infinite. Well, hopefully I don't die randomly in this combat, because that would be a real disappointing end to this one. Kitten host, no, yeah, no, not my kitten host. Please. I think I just sack that eight health. No, I should play up here. I have to draw something good next turn. I have to draw either shark or eel gorgon. So yeah, I'll play 
you have to die. No, oh, Mr. Train Steward, I expect you to die, etc., etc. Uh, I just sacked the health here, and it's okay. Offering monument should go hey, here. And I take another. I take eleven here, but it's okay. We're going. Or sorry, twelve there. No, no, yeah, twelve, and then yeah. What I said is close to correct. I know what you're thinking. It looks real bad. I agree. It does look a little bit bad right now. No, no longer does it look bad. I feel like I have to play a card off the floor. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I can just overdraw, it's fine. What do I care? Can I play this? No, I just discard it. Oh, I drew the other one. Dallas, hello, how's it going? Good evening. What am I doing? infinite? I think so. Yeah, maybe is the correct answer to that question. I did not get punished for my mistake, but I should have done this first time around. Yeah, are we doing an infinite? The answer to that question is a strong maybe. certain is maybe it's not I'm not super certain but uh, this is the run that I'm gonna go up a super ultra on from now yeah this infinite will be very quick this is not a painful one by any means this one does pretty well yeah the Stygian spike episode that wasn't great that run was pain Uh, I'm just gonna press that turn until the boss walks up here now. My man has multi-strike. That's very disrespectful. I don't like that. Isn't that like two hours? Yeah, somewhere around there, I believe. It was painful. It hurt a lot. You don't like this song because of the bass line? I think it's alright. Uh, I want... I want... Magic Shop, but I also would like higher health because we're not... Uh, if I buy a removal and I like, it's weird, right? Because I can't, I can't necessarily remove Nameless Siren. Hmm. Actually, I probably can. Hold over and win. I'm not here to win. I'm here to, uh, I'm here to infinite. Sad. I just need a bunch of removals, and so I'm going to prioritize going to anywhere with a removal. I think I go, I think I go Steel Shop because I get the 60 Pyre health and it gets us for sure through this one, and I will go Magic Shop next ring. Another large stone is bad. I do this. And I want to... Oh. 
counts as a bad person heard that a previous boss who you hated got fired from his new position and you were happy. Hmm. I don't think that makes you a bad person. It doesn't make you a good person either. But like, you know, not bad. Can you get infinite ember? Yeah, I think so. But we don't have the infinite yet, right? How many cards do I play? These are two. So there's two here. You tell your Snoop Dogg dream and I never even read it. Yeah, this grounds to be mad at me. I asked you to tell me about your dream and then I just didn't read it. I apologize. Holdover Echo Infusion doesn't make this an infinite Xanth. Because Holdover doesn't happen until the start of your next turn. We have to thin the deck down to 10 cards. Well, 10 cards after units are played out, I should say. Yeah, dude, if you could if you could just do it off a of Holdover, it'd be so free. God, that would be sick. Uh, let me, so this is four, five, six. Uh, 14, 16. I have to remove six cards plus two units. I have to remove eight cards effectively. I think that holding Gift of Gratitude is a bit of a bait. I'll just take Heaven's Gold. Egg Infusion good on Gorgon? What is it? What is the Egg Infusion? Is Strike apply Reap 1? <laughs> Yeah, that would apply a lot of reap. Spell chain a mistake since it adds cards. It doesn't add cards because uh, the cards that it adds are free, right? Like every time that I play the spell chain card, even if I'm overdrawing, I'm still like gaining. I'm, I'm still neutral on the card I play, right? I'll play Echo Infusion. Actually, uh, I think the draw happens first, come to think of it. Right, I'm gonna do, this is too aggressive if I do the infusion here. So we go, I need to remove uh, the egg. Turn one egg is really bad. I will probably keep train steward in. I'll cut fracture. I think it's not a bad idea to just throw a plus 10 here. Sure, that's fine. And we'll save the rest. Luther said he was not getting the vaccine. Not a crazy conspiracy person about it, like conspiracy coworker. Company is giving a hundred dollars if you get vaccinated. Mm hmm. And he said, "No. Do you think I'm a fool?" Overestimating the amount of cards I need for infinite because of offering. We ignore offering for counting. You mean uh, offering token? <laughs> oh yeah, I think maybe we could over we could just ignore this. You might be right. Cause I could just play it on a different floor, right? I could play this on like top I could play it in the pyro room. And we would draw we would draw so let me let me write this out in my head. Let me let me go through it. So we have our offering monument on the floor. We have our hand is full. We have both echo infusions, we have both offering tokens and whatever else is in our hand, right? We play echo infusion. It goes to the discard pile. We don't draw anything. There's nothing in our draw pile. There's nothing in our discard pile. We play the spell chain version. Wait. I don't even need two of these. Wait a minute. I didn't even need to duplicate this. I actually made it harder to do the infinite with the duplicate because I could just do the spell chain one over and over again, right? 
I mean, the, the duplicate's probably fine because it makes the part where I don't have the infinite a lot better, but once you get the infinite going, the spell chain, it, like, actually just makes the second one obsolete. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Anyway, uh, play, play a spell chain, you draw back. But, so the question is if I have offering token in hand, or if I have offering token in the deck, right? Say I play Echo Infusion, I draw offering token, Echo Infusion's in my discard pile. Uh, there's nothing, I could play another Echo Infusion if I wanted to, but say I have both Echo Infusions in, I, th I think I can ignore offering token. The more that I think about it, I think you're right. I'm behind. Hold on, I have to make decisions. Right, so I should just play out these train stewards, I believe. Although they will harvest. I don't think that matters, though. Thirty-six. You're taking forty-eight. I'll just leave this card in. Randomly, hello, hello, Poggy Woggy to you as well. A fine Poggy Woggy to you on this day as well. Oh, this freezes, right. Will I be okay without this siren? Probably. I think I'm worse off if I don't play the shark. Ember Drain Top 4 makes the game a lot more fun to play. I agree. Ember Drain Top 4 was a really, really, really good change. Like, it was it was an excellent change. Changing the, the random space loss to be fixed mid-floor and removing days, I feel like was so, so, so good. It was such a good choice. I'm very, very glad that they made it. This looks bad until it doesn't look bad anymore. Uh, I should just play Siren. Yeah, no reason to hold off. I don't care too much about this thing dying. Although I should probably try to extend its life a little bit more. So you guys definitely had a conversation that I should have commented on but fell behind on. Uh, that's all right. You're allowed to have conversations without me, I guess. Wow. <laughs> they had to make death as useful somehow. I feel like also the one Ember Drain effect is much more interesting to play around than the uh like playing you, there's actual skill expression in the one ember drain where the dazed effect had none chat becomes a white noise yeah and then something like that's happening it's more that uh it's, it's more of a an exciting milestone to see of i don't have to be involved for you guys to have a conversation which is pretty sick honestly ah that is how it works Good to know. We're pretty close to this infinite being off the ground. I don't mind letting this guy uh, die. But no, it is like, it's very cool that you guys are just having a conversation and me not joining in doesn't stop it. It's a, it's a good thing to see. I think I phrased that properly. If I could stop this wave from hitting me, I would feel good. Uh, it is fine to play these here, I feel. As long as I don't put another spell up here, it's fine because the Offering Monument tanks the 12, which is nice. And I think with Energy Siphon, I kill here. And so we'll have 14 go through. Telling you that humans talk? Hmm. Top 10 things about history you won't believe. Humanity speaks? Hmm, 
Tim Allen confused grunting. My Tim Allen grunt isn't that good. I had a friend who had a really good Tim Allen grunt in high school. Like, it was incredible. Martian girl, I don't know where friend is. Ever since the robots came, he's just... He's looked different. Ever since that robot uprising. Are we okay here? Ah, oh, we're okay here. Hey, I, I'm now going to make a very bold monster train claim. I think that Incant Armor 2, if you double it, is strong. I'll keep you posted if I have any more developments. NGU, hello, hello, how's it going? Got a decent win streakish? Hell yeah, let's go. Congratulations. He was not taking so many shards, yep. Yeah. It'll get you. Brawler Prince, y'all, Brawler Prince is sick now. Brawler Prince is so good. There's Return Soul here. Return Soul is the interesting card that's worth talking about because playing Return Soul is not negative. It's neutral in terms of the number of cards in the deck. So what Return Soul does is it lets me get to the infinite quicker in combats where my deck isn't removed down enough. Once my deck is removed down enough, it it doesn't matter, right? Return Soul is worse because it makes me... Like, it's an, it's an interesting one in terms of the infinite, right? Because Return Soul is one to the overall removal requirements, but it's... It'll let me get there on Arcus. I think it is good. Have an infinite going? Not yet, but soon. We go right. Uh, I believe... So I think Offering Token is correct to just leave alone. So I want to cut Fracture. Can I explain the basics? Absolutely. Uh, it's a very, very easy one to understand. Offering Monument. Incant. Minus 5 HP. Draw 1. Echo Infusion. Apply plus 10 max HP. I play Echo Infusion on Offering Monument. You don't even need the double incant trigger for this uh, normally. I think actually without the double incant trigger you would be gaining HP, interestingly enough. But yeah, that's it. That's the combo. Yeah, so... Uh, we are, we're on a daily challenge with uh, triggered abilities trigger twice, so he is losing 10 every time uh, be because of the challenge. In a normal run, we would not. But yeah, we play Echo Infusion, he draws two, and goes forever. Actually, taking double incant would break the infinite, so uh, I actually can't take double incant here. Expert challenge? What did I say? Did I not say expert challenge? Yeah, peep the event here. It's a daily? Ah, uh, sure. You got me. Huh. Five gold for five health for twenty-five gold. That's a good trade. Seems like a fun infinite. It is definitely less painful than some of the infinites I have played in days gone by. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If the... 11. If the hypothesis is correct about not having to count offering token, then we're there. I... We're, we're there. We are there. In the next combat, we are there. Fracture is dead. Long live Fracture. <laughs> Uh, spell cost down doesn't matter. I'm just chilling. Uh, what do we have coming up? 70 or 75? I should take this money. Okay. And then I go left. Fracture who you only know sharded. Scumward, what is sharded? I haven't heard of it.
Oh, ah, yes. I was like, I was looking at this and I went, huh. There's something wrong here. I have found it. This is not Hot Shark. Got it. You gonna do a Tarky Town? Good luck, Cranberry. Have fun. I didn't know. I thought you were, uh, thought you were done with Tarky. Glad to hear you're still in the Tarkies. That seems the weakest. Yeah, it's uh, it's fine because we just go 100, 100, 20, or yeah, 10 here, 10 here, 25 at the temple, and we eat, make it to an even 100. Eogorgon goes first because he clears the dazed. I believe I can make it to the infinite. Maybe not on this turn, but it is possible. Just make sure I play the echo infusions. Ah, I drew hot shark. Cool. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. What would it be to make a mod where you can add champion upgrades as options at the temples? That is a question for Dusk when Dusk gets here. I don't know a lot about modding this game. Would be infinite if I infused an Incant Totem on Incant Siren on the Totem. I will probably put Nameless Siren onto Eelgorgon to just blast the divinity away. But right now she's my frontliner because the infinite isn't off of the ground yet. Okay, so here's the play. We go hosting kin here, hosting kin here. We go offering token, send away this. Return soul brings back offering token, which we then burn. Uh, the best card to freeze is train steward. Reap egg on Gorgon. I killed the egg already. The egg was going to kill my run. Turn one egg on, the, on combat five would have killed me for sure. We could not hold it. Okay. I want to not take health off of my totem right now. My main plan, my main goal is to play train stewards. Although here maybe I should frozen lance. Mm, frozen lance actually doesn't help me. I would have had to have played two. I let totem tank. Nothing goes up there on this combat. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Nothing makes it up there. Uh, by, th by the time it matters, it won't matter. Is the answer. I believe, anyway. Okay, we do... Dead weight. Hmm. I play... Just get rid of a Frozen Lance here. Return Soul is going to get me there very quickly. But the Curses are going to slow me down a bit as well. Let's go to pray for... Yeah, with the, with the two Curse Boys, Frozen Lance actually made it worse. Or would have made it worse, yeah. That is correct. Also, uh friend you asked if i would make a guide on shards in the divinity yeah maybe it's a good idea i wanted to tell you that i acknowledge that even though i didn't acknowledge it verbally to you can i trade a little help i can but all there i haven't lost all my train stewards yet so it's not quite there like now we're there from this position, we are there. This is the infinite. So now we wait. We just wait for Arcus to go top. Actually, what I should do with this, I can th I can take the deck to zero, right? I can take the deck to zero cards. Like this. And then we just guarantee it. Is this challenge? Give me a sec. This is uh, no champion, no problem. Start with no champion, start with two additional unit banners, and triggered abilities trigger twice. That is the challenge. I bet I can't return soul, return soul. Okay, 
I mean, what I'm doing here doesn't matter. None of this matters at this point. Uh, we have an infinite in position. I just need the boss to walk top floor. Please go top. Thank you. He died. He is dead. This man... Arcus doesn't know it, but he is already gone. Arcus, you fool. You've died a thousand deaths already. Arcus, you fool. You're already long dead, my man. <laughs> yeah, he fell from my trap. What a fool. Uh, this is an infinite that actually... Th th this is one of the better infinites I've ever played because I can just press 1 over and over again. This is not a bad one. In the worst infinites in this game are the ones where the cards are redrawn in random orders. Those are the infinites that are painful to play. Because that, because you can't just do this. I can't just sit here and press one over and over again. <laughs> yeah, and you correct that well. I, I mean, I picked Stygian because what character makes more sense here than Stygian? A run where you go, man, I hope I can get rid of Tethys. Put a plus three attack per echo on Gorgon, it'll be much faster. True. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Uh, I, obviously, I, I'm gonna do more ridiculous things this than this at some point. Th this is a lot, but we'll get to a bigger number. Oh my god, look at how long it takes for him to shoot! <laughs> Arcus, are you okay? Yeah, we, we pulled, pulled out the fucking eel machine gun. Dude got hit with the gratata there. Why is this game still showing me Symphony of the Soul? Stop. Stop showing me this. <sighs> I'm gonna take draw. I actually, honestly, I gotta tell you, it's the first round of the night. Usually I play these horrible infinites and it's like four in the morning and I want to go to bed. But it's the first round of the night. I kind of want to just let this go at 30 attack. I want to kind of just let him rat -a, -tat a the divinity to death with 30 attack. Perfect insanity to kill the divinity. Oh my god, I could have done- yeah, I could have done infinite perfect insanities. This is, this is a run that has a lot of ways that you can do something really stupid. There's a lot of really fun and dumb things to do on this run. So here's, here's the position. I don't necessarily want to put Nameless Siren onto Eel Gorgon because it'll make me do less shooting. And I want to have a lot of Gratata here. You tried to warn me. I, even even if I had read your perfect insanity please in time, I would never have done it. How do we handle spikes? We handle spikes by killing the boss on turn one. That is my main plan. My, my plan is to kill the boss by turn two uh, for the divinity. Maybe turn three. Yeah, I actually, yeah, because I don't necessarily want to do the siren move. I, I think we just take the pack shards here, right? Although, is there a... That's a true stone. I, I think that it is best to just do... Like, I'm marginally worried about not uh, having a frontliner. Mar a little bit. Put on sentry makes more sense. Yeah, I was thinking maybe doing Siren on the Steward also, because then we'd get rid of the Siren. But I guess let's just keep her. I'm thinking about it a little more. I could just keep her. I think I should have taken Energy at the boss, though, because Energy would smooth over some of the awkward places. I'm going to take out one more Train Steward. Staying at two is fine. Uh, 
two is a good number of trained stewards. Zero energy spells are better than one energy spells, so I get rid of Frozen Lance first. And I think that there is nothing that I would ever want duplicated here. I think that there is no card that I think is worth duplicating, so I just skip it. I'll click it so they don't give me the pop-up. I think that there is no reason to duplicate anything, though. Second eel gorgon. Now nah, I want five thousand. I want to count to five thousand thirty at a time. You might think, wow. I guess it's actually sixty at a time. But fusion gets me there faster. Yeah, I guess I could take this for extra energy. It's uh, like if I yeah yeah yeah. The, there's no downside to that. The downside is I take ten pack shards and I go to a hundred going into four seven. But I think that's not a problem. I think that there's this is a lot of consideration for something that probably doesn't matter too much. I think that we will infinite pretty quickly. Oh, you know, the hard part of this is actually it's uh the hardest part of this run. I'm not going to take this trial. The hardest part of this run and I can't, is is not dying on the way to relentless in this combat. I have to not die here. This is where I could accidentally fumble it. Because I don't have quick, their damage will go through. If I got rid of Siren, we would actually be in a bit of trouble. I believe, anyway. That offering token was needless, I would say. Foolish. This run is losable, even though it seems like it shouldn't be, because I don't have... I... Okay, here's here's the deal. There's a world that exists on this run where I end up having to Frozen Lance Heavies to death, which is... <laughs> That's a little scary. It is, yeah, which is a solution. Correct. Keeping Frozen Lance in this run is actually very important. Yeah, what a agree. Very strange, very strange one. Very, very, very strange position to find ourselves in today. When I when I booted up the stream to play a little monster train, didn't think we were gonna end up here. I'll just be honest with you. Turn. Yeah, in this position, I should actually put Siren in front for sure. Uh, there's no reason to put Offering Monument in front like this. This is incorrect. Uh, but because of how it works, I... Hmm... Because I, I lose health if I ever play Frozen Lance, right? This is neutral. Hmm. Quick on Eel improve things. You actually can't put Quick on Eel Gorgon because he clears it. Eel Gorgon cannot take Quick, Multi Strike, Endless, Incant Armor 2, Rage 7, Spikes 3, or Damage Shield from the shops, and I think that's all of them. Honestly, though, like, one turn of quick would not be bad. I'm gonna do this. I know what you're thinking. Why? Great question. I have an answer for you. Truly, I do. It's to build armor on the Siren. What I've realized now is I've put myself... I guess not, actually, right? What I can do here is I can do this. I can loop like this. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I need to do this. I'm 
armor 2 wouldn't be completely worthless on the Gorgon. I can you actually put Incan armor 2 on him? I thought that you couldn't actually like I thought you couldn't put it on him. I thought he wouldn't let it happen. Ah, you can't. Okay. That's what I thought. That's sad. I don't really feel like I need to do what I'm doing here. Also, if this spell wasn't Frozen Lance and it was anything else, we'd be better off. But don't worry about that too much. Ah, they do go out of the train. You dead yet? No. Now? No. <sighs> Let me be free. Don't look at this. One more. I can just play two Frozen Lances. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to Umber Spike with Hell Pact upgrade, making of a morsel infinite. Kills with teeth of gold. It's good to have dreams. That's what I always say. I believe that from this position, I don't think I need to be killing these enemies. I don't think I have to worry about offering Monument. I think, I'm not sure, but I think the 363 with uh, 190 health is probably good enough. Infinite every turn from here on out. But I can't add health to the offering Monument, so if it ever dies, I can't bring it back. That's the fear. But, you know. I don't think I need to be afraid. Incan, Incan Armor 2 on offering could also happen. I'm just going to take a spell upgrade is what we're going to do, but I could. I don't know who the boss is, so I'm not going to worry. Yeah, I think it's fine. Marginally better to do this. Oh, I should throw the lights. Oh. Hello, young man. Oh, you win. Hmm. Yeah. On the divinity, I will not play... Oh, because shark. That's why. The infinite actually breaks when shark is in the deck. Kinda. Interesting. Okay. On the divinity, I will probably not play the siren because I want the machine gun to go... Uh, gratata. You know? Until offering monument survives, it's too, it's too much. I gotta scroll up and down and up and down. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. I'm sorry, offering monument, that it has to be this way. So, sadly, the game has been rigged ever since the beginning. I really would like to see plus 10 here. No. Uh, none of this. I really just want to see plus 10. And I can't afford... So, one Frozen Lance goes away. For sure. One Energy Siphon also goes away. Oh, wait, you're right. Do I pay 240 for Tempered Talisman? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. There's no plus 10! Ah! Uh, so the worst card in this deck. I want to keep Energy Siphon Frozen Lights in case I need it. I think it's Train Steward. Two thirty-five and nothing to spend it on. I guess I could buy one more removal for ten pack charms. Get rid of Siren. I think I just play Siren on a different floor. I think that Siren is nice, and then on the Divinity I put her somewhere else. Is what I'm planning on doing. Like it's nice to have her because she adds certainty. Prince will have a purpose. Not anymore, but it's not like. Hmm. I'm gonna go to 110 and I'm gonna buy one more removal with that. And it's going to be... 
Yeah, I think Return Soul can go, actually. That's a good point. Okay, let's just go. Thank god this isn't the Seraph that consumes spells. That's fine. Uh, offering token first. If I draw... No, no, no. Let's do this. It's only really bad if I draw shark and don't draw echo infusion, but I draw echo infusion. Which should let me cycle the whole deck here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, do I just do the infinite this turn? I think I might just do the infinite this turn. Yeah, I think we have enough consume spells to go infinite against uh, Diligent Seraph as well, yeah, yeah. I do agree. It would just be a little annoying. That's all. I can sack health for 8, 9. I can sack some health to draw here. Oh wait, no, I think we're doing it, right? Set up 4-1 to turn 1 Seraph. It's like, it's an interesting idea, but it's it's scary because I'm afraid of dying. All right, but if you want, if you would like, I can reset the combat now that we know for sure, and we can turn one Seraph, if you really want. If you really, really want, we can turn one Seraph, but only, only if you guys want it. All right, we'll do it. Watch it draw differently and it just kills me. That would be, uh... That'd be pretty fun. So we want to play similar order. We go... We play these two units, and then we go Offering Token, it draws us this. We go Echo Infusion, Echo Infusion, Echo and uh, play no, don't play train steward yet. Now I play train steward. Get rid of him. Echo infusion. Uh, I can give some health here on the thing as long as it has more than it has to be at fifteen, right? I'm gonna go over for you. You're going to bake some cookies. Good luck. I hope that it goes well. I believe. Okay, I want to play three. Six, nine, ten. One day, my, my biggest hope for Monster Train is that one day they give me... Let me just check. Maybe they snuck it in on me real quick. No. Uh, no, that doesn't seem right. Nope. Oh, I can hide player names. Sick. I have to go to the main menu to change the language? Hmm. One day they're going to add numbers for cards. That's all that I want. I just, I really, really would like numbers for cards one day. Is it too much to ask? Yes. Alright. Uh, I want to play out my units so they're out of the way. And I just burn this card. Alright. Now I just press 1 until, the, until Seraph dies. Huh. Wait, no. It would be better for me to... Okay, so now we get into min-maxing the infinite. It's better to leave Siren in hand, because if I leave my Nameless Siren in hand, I won't generate the spell chain card, which makes the infinite happen faster. Hmm. You think about that? The infinite goes faster if I don't make space in my hand, right? Hang on. No, it doesn't work that way, right? Three, six... It does it work that way? Three, six, nine, ten... No, it doesn't work that way. Never mind. That's just me, uh, hoping. I should not have put Spell Chain on this card, even though it is good. Like, it definitely helped a lot. But it adds a lot of animation time. 
Oh, it works that way because of the draw. Yeah, so I'd, I'd have to have another card in the discard pile. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I could... Could I do it like this? Yeah, there you go. You do it like this. Are they going to go off the screen? They just go off the screen. <laughs> uh, they... That's pretty funny, yeah. And they just go off the screen. I feel like if I were to ever make, like, edited meme content, this is the sort of run. Just mute all of this audio, put in some, like, heavily bass-boosted music, and zoom in on this. That seems like a video. Title it, like, absolutely dunking on some idiot. Who would win, God or some underwater eel? Something like that. If, yeah, throw in Goku, but he's Super Saiyan 3. Mm, 205 is good. He's dead. Well, now I'm gonna play some more. We won. Now I gotta play more. This isn't God, though? Oh, sorry, you think God's gonna do well? 235 is good. What do you guys think? You want to watch this in uh, in one X speed? How does this feel to you? So, how's everyone's night? You guys feeling good? I'm gonna go get married and have kids. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go train to run a marathon, I think, and then run a marathon. All right. I've at least three minutes. I think we have three minutes of this. Wait, this is kind of a banger. Hold on. Is Seraph is Seraph's kind of remixing it though. This is a bit of a bop. Cat jam. <laughs> uh, Sarah, move, Sarah. Get out of the way. And get, please post cat jam to this funky beat. Oh yeah. What's the next beat sound like? You want remix? We switch the tempo up. Oh, it's over. Herschel <laughs> type beat. Free. Hard. Seraph? Have you considered giving up being an angel and taking up a career in music? I think we turn one. Yeah, I think this draw means I think we turn one, like guaranteed here. Uh, take me to take me to Super Ultra while we set her up here. Okay, I play this card. I want to get rid of Train Steward. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. This has to draw two. If the last divinity did say how many loops has it been, indeed, that is a line. Did that cost me energy? That didn't cost me energy, did it? No, I'm just at one. I'm losing my mind. Okay. I'm just playing out these consume cards first. Uh, Divinity very aware of what is happening here. It is canonical. 
The, the loop is like his defense mechanism, I'm pretty sure, in terms of the lore. And he's because he's the last divinity. All of the other divinities were killed by Hergel and Seraph, maybe? I'm not exactly certain who. But I think they referenced the, somewhere in the lore that the child died. I should be playing cards while I talk about that. Handful. So I can now do this. This. I have to draw a dead weight here, right? No? Ah, there we go. But yeah, they reference like the, the mother and the child, and I think this is the father that we're talking to right now. He's aware he put us in this loop as like a... I think it's a defense mechanism, but it also might be a... Uh, like a revenge thing for killing the mother and child, but also in other pieces of the lore he says that like he doesn't feel sorrow, but he felt something, right? And uh, he's... The reason we're able to do this is because of the pact with pact shards and make a pact with Malika, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on here. Have you heard of the Pish of Plesius? Is a thought experiment. Chaz, are, is this... Chaz, are you drunk in WoW in Twitch chat? <laughs> is that what that is? Are you drunk in WoW in Twitch chat? We, uh, this is actually a lot faster than Seraph, because Seraph put three sap on us. What a fool. I don't know, this infinite was pretty lightweight. This one didn't hurt all that much. I guess counting by 30s isn't so bad. Like, is the mastermind something like that, right? She's like... She's not really the mastermind, but she and Herschel were good friends, and then... Seraph betrayed, Herschel died... Malika didn't do anything. She feels a lot of sadness about this. Things of, uh, things of that nature. What are you witnessing here? Ah, I'm doing an infinite. This is, uh, this is an infinite combo in the game. They've done a lot to stop you from doing these. However, I accidentally walked into one of these. Yeah. Biggest mistake was putting large stone. We should be counting by fives. Basically, one, I'll, I'll run it down in case you just joined. We have this card, which draws one card and loses five max HP. And we have this card, which adds 10 max HP. So I add 10 max HP, I draw a card. It loses five max HP. I double the attack stat. I mean, we're, we're still counting by 30s, but you are correct. Because it, it goes up by 2. Yeah, we are, we're going by 60s. In terms of counting to 5100. 5, yeah, strong maybe on the infinite. Turns out the forecast was correct. The Frenzy Stone on Eogorgon. No, I like the, I like the slow burn here. Max em no, Max Ember is 99, yeah. And the multi-strike cap? I'm fairly certain the multi-strike cap is probably like the integer cap. Is something happening? Yeah, every time that I play a spell, Eogorgon, who is at the back, is gaining multi-strike. Uh, so every time that... The boss has been dead for about 200 spell casts, or probably about 100 spell casts, actually. But every time that I cast the spell, Eogorgon gains 60 damage. You can see the number is very low, or very small, but he currently has... So basically the way that it works is he hits multiple times, one time for every spell you cast, but on this challenge we cast, uh, or we get two times, like double triggers, so it's twice. And so currently he uh, is hitting 470 times. Basically. 
It's a pretty simple one. Like, in terms of infinites, I'm... I have to tell you, Echo Infusion is... Uh, there's a lot of Wormkin cards that I look at and I go, wow, I really can't believe they made this card. Echo Infusion is one of them. I'm gonna stop at 1,000, if you're wondering. I wanna just check and make sure it's not 999. So when we get to 1,000 multi-strike is when I will be done. This is an expert challenge. This is an expert challenge. However, you could do this exact same run outside of an expert challenge. You don't, that's the most important thing. I don't want you to look at this run and say, oh, well, you're only getting to do this because it's an expert challenge. You could do this with, like, it's actually better without the double triggers. Echoes are coming for you, dude. They're gonna, like, they're gonna wrap into my next run. Yeah, the, without the expert challenge effect, we would not... So in this case, as you can see, we're only drawing one, but the incant is triggering twice, so my totem loses 10 HP every time. Without the double incant triggers, he would not be losing 10 HP, he'd be losing 5 HP, so we'd be net plus 5, and his HP would be ever-increasing as well. Echoes are pouring through your window, sorry. I, I'll get those later. I should have I should have kept a reap card in or something to see how many echoes this is. I guess you could calculate it, right? It's like probably like 700. Yeah. Now, now this is pog racing. Did you guys know fun fact, uh if you were to uh Take all of the echoes in this run and stretch them out side by side lengthwise, you could actually go to the moon and back. It would be lethal alone. Yeah, I think if I played if I had a one fracture in this deck still and I played it on the divinity, he would die. Let's try minus one over two. Uh No, you could you could do this number, right? You could just do the multi-strike number. I believe, and that's every time. But I, I think I played a few more spells up here that were infused, but it's somewhere around there, yeah. So it's 732, 730, it's like 350-ish right now. But uh, probably a little more, because I think I played an infused card or two. As well, so, but it's somewhere around there. When you get into that big of a number, you can just go, cool. That's fine. Look at all the intestines from the human body and lay them end to end, the human would die. I don't believe you. I bet there's medical proceedings that would make this fact false. That doesn't tell you if you hover over the echoes, it just tells you what charged echoes are. Did we win? I'm not sure. It's up in the air. I think that it's, uh, I think that it's a close one. The real Thunderdome. The good thing for YouTube is that they can skip this part. YouTube just gets to click ahead. If you're a real one, YouTube, you're watching this right now. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're a real one, you're watching me do this. A lot of YouTubers, they're gonna skip ahead. They're gonna go, ah, I don't wanna watch this. In Twitch chat, you got no fucking choice. You, you have no option. You are trapped here. But if you're watching this on YouTube right now, that's, uh, that's tough, buddy. Hell yeah. Uh, don't skip this part. This is, this is, uh, this is the best part of the whole run. That's what you said. This is the best part. You wouldn't want to miss the best part. Lag is building? Yeah, it is. The game is having trouble. Ah, oh, the frames dropped. Ah. I dropped a few frames here. Now it's just me and YouTube. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to play these cards. I'm not going to stop because of the frame drop. I, uh, the, the frame, it did, the frames did drop. You guys got to skip it, but now you're back. But I didn't stop. I am. Uh, I will stop and let you guys refresh and get all catch up. If you require it, I'll stop at like 980. 
No, you thought you were free. Foolish. The frames actually have been a little better today. It is uh, nice to see. I'm at 978, 980. If you can't see anything right now, you have to refresh. If you're just looking at a black screen and hearing my voice, you gotta you gotta refresh the stream. I'll wait. I'll give it a sec here. Let everyone uh, get caught up. Take a sip of my water. Oh, my mouse is dying. Hmm. This was a good run. No matter what they say, this was a good run. I'm gonna refresh my stream as well, and then I will do we'll do the big reveal here. Hold. Oh yeah, I have that Shaz, I have that humble bundle link, but I'm not actually sure it works. Like I'm not I'm not actually sure that works, which is why I haven't done a whole lot. I should actually remove that. All right, big reveal. 998, do we go to 1,000? Huh, you just go to 1,000. I'm not going to 10,000, I'll tell you that much. I'm not going to 10,000. We'll stop here at a nice 1,000 multi-strike, and I will just press enter. We'll watch this one in ultra. It's 9999. I actually think that it's, uh, I think that it's probably higher. Yeah, I, th I think it's probably the end cap, if I were to guess. No, ready? We're gonna break it down, get a re remix in here. Slow it down. Oh yeah. And now a little faster. Back to the normal pace. And Super Ultra. Slow it down. I plan for the Ankh? Oh fuck, oh shit, oh no. <laughs> the devs aren't gonna like this one. Nine turn boss rush. Wait, this isn't a ten turn? Wait a minute, no this is a, that's right, this is a twelve turn but you don't get bonuses for killing him. Cause like, there's no three, two, one from walking up so it's just nine turn. <sighs> Alright. Well, that run was good. That run was like, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. We're gonna do something fun with sirens. And then, oh, hey, infused echo infusion, sure. Oh no. That's not good. 71, 75, 515. New record on imcant triggers as well. Wowee. All right. Get a spectacular enter the gungeon run today. Really? I actually haven't played enough enter the gungeon to have like a, a take on enter the gungeon. Like you could tell me what you had, but I would go, huh, that seems cool. That run is my second highest scored run ever. Only behind this daily challenge, where I pet where, the run, the one where you could go 280 on the pack shards. Five hundred extra triggers than required. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I wanna before I end the YouTuber, I want to first of all, you can get in your goodbyes to YouTube now if you would like. I just wanna. Can I not make a custom link to this? What is this button? I'm scared of this button. Ah, there it is, okay. I just want to have this in there so that if anyone wants to try this one out at home, they can. There you go. If you want to play this run yourself, do it. You can do a lot of searching. Goodbye, YouTube.